Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play RuneScape. Today we're going to be doing the Temple of Sanitation. Anyways, well, all of our research seems to point to the fact that there are two factions of these matters yet. There are those who are loyal to an ancient and mostly forgotten god called Zeros, and those who are loyal to Zamrak. What is your perception? Do we treat these two factions differently? Where do you stand on these matters? Well, I certainly don't like those of the Zamorakian faction. The actions of the Zamorak faction don't really worry me. Religion isn't something I much care about. I just fight. Sounds like a worthy day to me. I am a true follower. Well, oh. I certainly don't like those of the Zamorakian faction. They do seem to follow a self-proclaimed god of chaos, such as Lucian and Zermigal. Clearly, pose a significant threat to human civilization. But we're the Marajet who follow Zeros. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's honorable. I don't think we have enough information to know yet. Are a bit more of an enigma. Nothing we've discovered proves that the followers of Zeros are out to cause evil. Either way, a group that is loyal to a vanished and forgotten god hardly seems a major threat. It's hard to know if untoward things that one might hear about Zeros are deserved or not. If one thing is for sure, it's that the followers of Zamorak are the ones causing grave problems in the world today. The temple at Sentistin. Okay, that's what it's called. Um, that's some decent experience. Okay, I'm gonna accept the quest. Oh, actually, when I think about it, there's something that may be of interest to you. I've been up to an archaeological dig site east of Varrock. I ran into an old contact of mine, Dr. Nabinik. When I mentioned that I was working with someone called Wednesdays, he seemed to have heard of you. He asked if you could head over to the dig site exam center, as he has some work for you. Doesn't ring any bells. I have to say, I suppose, I could head over there and see what he wants. Um, can you help me get to the dig site? Uh, sure, yeah, thanks. Hey, wasn't this thing the... Yeah, okay, so I, I unlocked this earlier. But, uh... It's supposed to be a long-forgotten pendant. How does he know the magic for Xeros' teleports? Really? You're gonna go with that name? Your name is Ed Wood? Okay, then. Right. Okay, so I gotta find this Dr. Nabinik. Oh, Dr. Nabinik! Wherefore art thou, Dr. Nabinik? Hmm. Well, you're clearly not. Oh, no. You're a girl. You're not Dr. Nabinik. Oh, well, neither are you guys. Hmm. Where can he be? They said he. Was he just outside the exam center? Is that what they said? That means I'm gonna have to run all the way to the exam center now. Who are you? No, you're not Dr. Nabnik. Stop trying to trick me with your lies and slander. But where is Dr. Nabnik? I should have probably paid more attention to what he was saying. Is he? Oh, there he is. Dr. Nabnik. Okay. Yes, yes, old friend. I've changed a bit since we last met in that pyramid, so I can understand your surprise. Certainly seems familiar. You quickly realize that he is speaking softly. Um... Why are we speaking so quietly? I don't want to attract undue attention. Heh, <laughs> last time we met, I was in a form that might frighten those these peasants. I'll give you a hint. How are those ancient magics working for you? Oh, yeah, you are quite the master of disguise. I suppose you'll want to know what's going on here and why Alia sent you to me. So where do you want me to start? What's Ali's part in this? Oh, we met while he was researching the dig site, and he mentioned your name. With you being involved in both our lives, it seems that maybe you are fated to help us. Why all the secrecy? That's quite the question after you have seen me in my true form. My folk have something of a deservedly bad reputation due to the actions of a headstrong minority. I'd rather not use mind control or mass slaughter here. Yeah, I'd prefer if you didn't either, when diplomacy can be just as beneficial to my aims. That's a good point, but where do I fit in? 
You have the trust of these dabblers. Use your influence and persuade them that I am trustworthy. Why are you here, away from the pyramid? Although I was unaware of time passing, it seems I was there for rather longer than you have lived. A change of scene seemed in order. Though I did have a visitor after you left, some fool who thought to come and gloat at my predicament. The look on his face made it all the worthwhile. Well lasted. Well, his face lasted, that is. I see. I wonder who it was. But what is so special about here? The one I adore was torn from me and is resting beyond the veil of life. I simply wish to, for us to be reunited and the altar here will allow for this. You could call it a tale of simple devotion over the ages, an old fool's dream. Um, just tell me what you want. I wish for your aid in getting a restoration certificate, which will grant me permission to perform some restorations to the temple beneath these ruins. Those who have authority here do not trust my motives. I need to repair an altar below ground and use it for a while, after which they can display it to paying visitors. Everyone wins. All you need to do is persuade the curators that I have the cash to rebuild the place and the historical knowledge to do it properly, and they should issue a certificate for me. I hope I won't be required to lie. You do have both of these things, right? I'm older than any of your human kingdoms and more powerful than you can imagine. My knowledge could wreck civilizations and my wealth rebuild them in a splendor. Be thankful I'm also both fair and merciful. Oh, and don't tell them the awkward details of my background. Obviously, make up something believable. I was told to contact the archaeological expert. He's the senior person here. He seems to have the authority, but no... But will not aid me. Okay, guess that's not... Not you, but you. Hello again. I'm now studying that mysterious temple and its inhabitants. The markings are strange. Here got a close friend of mine, Dr. Navidek. That's the fellow who wished to do some restoration work to our find. As I remember, he didn't have any paperwork or accreditation, though. Claims it was eaten by beetles. He also said he lost contact with his references while he was busy in some pyramid, which seemed an equally feeble excuse to me. Certainly can't issue him a restoration certificate on such flimsy grounds. I can be his reference. Well, as his reference, perhaps you can explain about the Beatles eating his documentation. Um... I've seen those Beatles, and they're huge. Okay, I suppose I can at least ask you about his credentials. All I require from you is a brief description of his areas of specific study, personal background, for the records of course. Study, he studies matters so complex they confuse me. Um, he mainly studies fossilized dung. Particularly their interiors. I don't think I have any of his work published. Has he been doing this long? He was involved in one pyramid for so long you could say he lived there. I think he was sidetracked by some magical emanations, though. I lost far more time than he would have liked. Yeah, it can be a complex combination. It's actually starting to look promising. All I require from you next is a brief description of his personal background. For the records, of course. Yeah, he has an aged benefactor. He made his fortune selling magical stats. He's extraordinarily... miserly. He has links to the desert religions. He was involved in the recovery of desert treasure. Yeah. I hope this wasn't through the pillaging of ancient sites. Oh no, lost property of no special historical value. Using it this way is far more likely to further knowledge. Excellent. So many people see archaeology as a way to gain money. It is refreshing to see someone willing to spend money in the cause of research. Yes, it seems my suspicions about him were incorrect. Here, he'll need a restoration certificate. Here. Thanks. Does he have to pass all three, all three dig site exams? I hope he does, because that would just be funny to watch. Talk to the powers that be, and they say you are allowed to do your restoration. Yes, I have it right here. Over your comments about me to that supposed expert. I think I did pretty well at making you seem a worthy person to do this restoration. You are better than I expected. Congratulations on lying through your teeth. A combination of my background in the pyramids and ancient religions was inspired. You distilled down the truth while excluding minor issues that might have disturbed the expert's sensibilities. In any case, I need that certificate you have. At last, my lackeys can start on the restoration work, which is good. Could you meet me down in the temple beneath the dig site so we can discuss the next steps? Use the winch at the northwest of the dig site to descend. I recall needing a rope to descend. It would be remiss of me not to carry a spare rope in this splendid backpack of mine. Here.
Okay. Yeah, you really do have a splendid backpack. I'm surprised a Marijet needs one. Can't you guys, like, float and teleport anywhere? Hell, I've met humans that can teleport anywhere. Literally, like, ten steps away. Such a useless teleport. But I would so abuse a teleport like that. Especially in real life. Oh, yeah, converters over there? <laughs> okay, yeah. There's the rope. Why is my rope always missing? Oh, hello. Okay, now this... These guys all look like desert bandits. As you have gained the permission we needed, my lackeys can start on the restoration work now, which is good. So, what next? It will take some time for them to accomplish this, even under my superb direction. Is there anything I can do to help? Actually, I can make good use of your services in the interim. Interim. What do I need to do? Well, the construction continues. I have some rather more dangerous challenges for you. More accurately, he has a pair of challenges, one in Mortania and the other to the far north. Don't tell me it's in the wild. In both cases, I need an object of ancient power. Tell me about the mission in Mortania. You need to get an ancient icon from the Barrows. It absorbs the power of prayer. Imagine, with so many desperate adventurers passing through there, how many prayers have been uttered within those gloom-ridden tombs. After all this time in that foul place, the icon will surely be a powerful article of prayer by now. Retrieve it. I've actually never been to the Barrows. This should be entertaining. Tell me about the mission in the north. Bested, has already bested one of my most loyal contacts. He was sent to retrieve an ancient item, the Fro Frost and Horn, from a snow-buried fortress. To get to the fortress, I believe you have to take transport from the west side of the peninsula to the north of the Frenemic province. Oh. Hmm. The last thing I received from my unfortunate contact was from a messenger who delivered his rune backpack to me. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I have a... Do you have any advice for me? Barrow's brothers are unlikely to yield the icon freely. They have been told to guard it well. It is fascinating how mindlessly they follow Zerosian orders, since they became cursed. If only their orders had included returning the icon peacefully when asked, your task would be a lot simpler. To ensure you get the icon, you should defeat every brother. Okay. Okay. So, let's check out some heat globe and a batter letter. I am ill-prepared for this mission. I must abandon my duties or I shall perish. Despair not, for I found the enclosed artifact. It will help you enter the fortress where more of these strange globes can be found. Had I been able to draw them to me just a short distance, I could have succeeded. Oh, to come so close, yet be held back. Your humble servant, J. Okay. So I guess the first step I will take will be to go towards Mortania and kill the Barrows brothers. Because that's always fun. But look at this place. There's even lava down here. Oh, and I didn't even see that extension they added. Okay. Now we're going to the Barrows. I actually think I have a task for this. Um. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Barrows Brothers. Defeat the original Barrows Brothers and loot the reward chest times four. So does that mean I have to do the entire thing four times? Hmm. Well, either way, there should be a fun adventure, and I will soon learn if I have to kill just four of them for that task, or if I have to do the whole thing four times. Oh man, I don't, I I don't know if I can actually kill them though. I have fought them before. I've never done this. This is new. I don't like new. Well, I guess all my bossing videos are technically new. At least to me. Usually I look up, like, the enemy's weaknesses and strengths if it's a bossing video. Of course, I'm always going to use my shield and spear. But I always want to know, like, if, uh... Like, their attack patterns. But these guys... These guys are new to me. So this... Shall be weird. Uh, maybe I should actually stop and listen to the ghost. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you play that 
ghostly accordion. Hey, is that his bag and sleeping bag and a mushroom? So where's his body? I uh, probably shouldn't ask that kind of question. It might be considered insensitive. Probably rotted into the swamp. I'm not going to make anything up for him. I know how to get to the barrels though, because I was going to do it as a mini quest, or even a boss uh, boss battle thing for one of my next, ep not one of my next episodes, but a future episode. Man, I keep getting tongue-tied on what I really mean to say. And this is one of those cities that I wish you could just fix up. You can make the permanent serum for these two, but the rest of the villagers, they all gotta suck it up. Stay afflicted. Okay. Dance of the Undead. I'm sure that's lovely. Maybe I should have brought my familiar. I should have brought a Mithril Minotaur. That would have been super helpful, I think. Would have been smart, too. But I'm not used to doing things that are smart. Okay. Oh, no. Um... I guess I'll go to this tomb first. Dig with spades. None. Creature slain. None. A large stone coffin. Well, it looks like he's wearing plate armor. Okay, yeah, this this guy's lovely looking already. Let's just put on uh melee prayer. I don't know their abilities, so I know that all the arm- the only one I know is uh, Guthin's gives you health back based on damage you deal. Okay, let's use that. This. And I don't- I can't use overpower yet. Okay. You're having some fun there, aren't you, little- Little guy. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, he's only hitting 47, so that's that's fine. Oh, there he goes for a good hit. Okay, let's let's finish him off. Oh, he's getting good hits again. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on. Now you're just playing around. There we go. So that's one down. Oh, that one was the. Oh wait, yeah, his name was right there. Okay. So that was the first one. Drink up my prayer potion. Let's go straight across to the second one. And start digging. Uh, who are you gonna be? You're also in armor. So I'm gonna put on prayer. Oh, this would be a good idea to have a minotaur with me. I wonder if I would lose my kill. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that face doing? I wonder if it would be a good idea to have my minotaur with me. I think he would deal some nice, nice damage. Okay, let's just activate Reflect, because that seems to always be nice to help. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you keep you keep doing your thing. Come on. Oh, that only 360. I was hoping you'd hit me harder than that. Oh, that one's down. Varric. What is that? What is that face? Why is it there? Why is it haunting me? Okay, that's two brothers down, and there's six, right? Okay, I think that's a hood, so he's either the ranger or the magician. I'm really weak to magic, so I will put this on. Okay, he's the magic. And this is not good for melee. Okay. As soon as I can, as soon as I can, I'm going to activate it for Flecked. There we go. Okay, good. 
Now deal your worst damage. No? You're not gonna deal any damage? I get it. Yeah, that face is popping up again. What the hell is that thing doing? Does it do anything to me? Okay, come on. You you can die now. Y you can please just die. Oh, and there goes all my prayer. Oh, is that what that face is doing? It's getting rid of my prayer points? Oh, maybe that's what it's doing. Uh, you have made progress towards completing the task, bros before barrows? What? Okay. So he said to kill all of them. This one... Uh, again, I don't know who this guy is. Okay, let's call you forth. Oh, this one's Guthin. That's perfect. So, this one will steal my health to heal itself. Go away, face thing. Okay. Oh, it did just heal itself already. Reflect, reflect, reflect. There we go. Reflect, you are my savior in every time of need. Okay, that face is still here. That, that face is really starting to bother me. Come on. That's, he's almost dead, actually, which is surprising. I'm actually doing pretty good against these brothers. I'm only level 98. Oh, now I got that Aram face following me around. What the hell? Okay. You are almost dead. Just, just die. Just please. Just fall down. Oh, can't you please just do this for me? Okay. Okay, you go down now. Oh, this this will work. Please, 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 hit, hit, hit. Damn you. Okay, my prayer's completely gone at this point. Oh, good. He's dead. He's dead. That, that killed him. Okay. Let's skip the, this one and go straight to this one. I don't know who's in this last one, but... Who is who are you? Oh no. Oh, I gotta kill them all, don't I? So, I should probably do him last. Since that, I have to go into the tunnel. So, who are you? You are the archer. So I can put on protect from ranged and not have to worry about you. But you should also die pretty damn fast. Because you are weak to stab, and luckily my weapon is stab. Okay. Although it's really not doing its job. You seem to be going down just as fast as the other guys. I guess you're going down slightly faster. Okay, he's, he's dead. So yeah, that's all of them. So I still have one more brother to do. But for some reason, there is a hidden tunnel underneath his... thingy. Oh, okay. So, search. Yes, I am fearless. Where am I? What it, why is there no map? I do not like this. What is that? Where am I? Oh, I can... Oh, oh, there's only one path I can take? Oh, I don't like this already. Oh, oh god, you're the other brother. Okay, okay, protect from melee. Protect from melee. Okay. I was not expecting you to just pop up like that. But yeah, let, let's do this. Creatures slain, so do killing these guys increase my chance of rewards or something? Okay, I'm gonna use this. Followed by this. 
Okay, all their faces are popping up. Does this just happen because I killed them? Or does it actually have some kind of effect? I'm starting to think it has an effect. Come on, he's so close to dead. Please, just, just finish him off. I don't like fighting strong things. They scare me. Okay. So, that's all of them dead now. Let's, let's try killing some of these things. Or maybe not because I cannot seem to hit them for shit. <gasps> There's the chest. Come on. Everything's pretty much aggressive down here. Okay, let's kill five things. That'll be good, right? Ooh, gold charm. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Okay. Let's turn on reflect. Let's use this guy up. That one's dead. So that's three creatures done. I got two more to go and then I can advance myself. Okay, one more. I just wanted to kill five to try and get a better reward from this chest. This is my first time down here. I didn't know you actually had to go through a dungeon to get through that chest. To that chest. Gold charm. I still... I don't care if it's only one. I'm taking it. Wait, 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 what? Oh, I thought it said he only had 100 health. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I can't go through that door. I know the chest is right there, though. What are you? A blood worm? Oh, and now there's crypt spiders and skeletons. Oh, 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 god. I don't know. I can't really read that while I'm under attack like this. Oh, I pray that you are not coming after me now. Oh, god. Um, okay, that, 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 that one. Okay. And there's, oh, there's a there's a crypt thing in here too. That's that's pretty nice. And I'm under I'm under like uh, rub. No, how about? Oh no, it teleport. Okay, so I got the barrows, gold child bolt racks, mind runes, death runes, and. No, a bunch of coins. Yeah, quite a few sets of coins. Well, that was stupid. I got, like, nothing good from that. Like, literally, nothing good. Okay, I'm gonna give this to the guy, and then I'm gonna get on over to the thingy. What's it called? What's that place called? It said someplace up north. Um, I had to take a boat or something. The Barrows brothers will be furious with you, of course. They have guarded it well, and for so long, but you can clearly handle them without concern. Magnificent effort on your part, Wednesdays. Now, let me see. Oh my, it is far better than I had hoped. I knew that under the protection of the Barrows brothers, the power of this icon would not fade. But it is now much stronger than I recall. A great many adventurers must have uttered their dying prayers in the Barrows. And the icon has drawn all that holy power in. Wonderful. This shall be an irresistible beacon into my lord. Okay, bro. Cool story. Let's uh, let's go up to that north place. He said I had to take something from the coast of Fremenic. The only thing I can think of is that boat I did for that Jalen guy. Could Jalen be Jay? Could he be the guy that's Jay? No, Jalen's frozen. Jalen's frozen. So that won't work. But who's who's Jay? I'm trying to figure out who Jay could be. 1001 PK 1001. Maybe I take this boat? No, that boat goes to the penguin platform. Maybe it's a place near that Jalen guy. I, I'm bet I'm guessing that's what it is. It's probably near Jalen. 
Oh my, what happened to you? You all got little brown spots on your white furs. Oh, hello, Manjamov Average. Okay, yeah, so I go up here to the icy area. Okay. This place looks like a temple. Oh, and there's um, an ice block and a steel dragon. Oh my god. Okay. Was not expecting you there. Maybe I... No, squeeze past then. Okay. Did I use this wrong? No. Oh. That makes no sense. Oh god, stay away. I have no prayer. Oh my god. Wait, wait, are they unaggressive? They're unaggressive. That's awesome. Okay. Unless I find a much stronger ver variant of these dragons, that will be not very fun. Oh, chop down. I thought that said climb. How do I get in here? Oh, there's a lot more steel dragons. Oh, and an iron! A level 98 iron. I was not expecting to see you there. Hello, all you scary-ass dragons. Oh, here's the front gate. Okay. Who is that? That's a statue of General Kazard. Why is his statue here? Okay, well, I'm gonna climb up the stairs. Or maybe I should go into that door. Maybe. Fuse the hinges shut. Damn it. How did people lose track of a temple like this? Well, you would think they'd at least find something. Okay, so all these doors are like fused shut. Except for maybe this one. I don't know why this one would be not fused shut. Okay, it's fused shut. Um. How about trap door? God damn everything. Okay. So I clearly have to get over here somehow to repair that and melt something with it. That is my idea of what I have to do. But how do I get over there? How much health do these steel dragons have? 10,000 for a level 100? Jeez. They're not playing around. Okay. Maybe I have to go this way then. Jump over the pillar. Examine the ice wall. Search the crates. See, I found nothing. I found nothing. Well, I am at an impasse, apparently, because I do not know what I am supposed to do here. Hmm. He said something about there being more of these globes in this place. Oh, oh, search crate. No, loot crate. It's empty. Oh, I'm running out of ideas here, guys. Okay, loot crate. Nothing. Maybe this door. Nope. Again, empty. Wait. Oh, that's stairs. I don't want to climb down some stairs. We're already checked down here. This door's locked. Is there... Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. It said I needed... All I know is I needed telegrab. Telegrab runes. Could it be to get that thing back? Oh, let's check that out. No, there's nothing over here. That is for damn sure. Oh, it is. Wait, what? 
the hell are you talking about? I can see it just fine. Um... What am I supposed to do then? Let's see. Will this thing just grow bigger again if I take the globe? Okay. Take the globe. It will. Okay, place the globe. Can I... Can I maybe move this thing? No, I cannot. So my only option is to do this. But then, how do I... Uh, I, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do right now. I'm going to go back in here. Because that's the only thing I can think of. There's got to be something I missed. Maybe there's like a snow pile I can climb or a damaged wall. Maybe a rock pile that I just missed. I don't think there's going to be a door. Ooh! That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Loot, maybe. Nope. Okay, uh... Push. It's frozen firmly to the ground. Okay, I'm starting to get... Yeah, I know, it's frozen shut, yada yada yada. Okay, then what do I do now? What do I do now? Clearly I need that orb that I have all the way back there. <sighs> okay. Wait. Hmm. Too slippery to walk on. But if it's too slippery to walk, why does it give me the option? I don't get it. You're not helping me. Okay, maybe I don't have the globe, but can I at least put you back together? Why aren't you letting me do anything? Like... Uh, this is bothering me. I don't get it. Do I maybe have to pick that thing up? No? Oh, God. If it looks too slippery, why can't you just let me get past it then? Okay, I definitely need that heat globe then. But how do I get it if I can't telegrab it? Like, it's not really telling me anything in here. Can I telegrab it from here? No, wait. No. Okay, I need I need to get it. I need to get that orb. There is something about that orb that I need to grab it for. <sighs> okay. Now what? If I can't You can I can I can directly see it. What is wrong with my character? Okay, what the hell? I am really stuck. So I am going to cut until the point where I figure out what to do. This may take me an hour or so, because at this rate I am completely lost. Okay, so it took me 10 minutes of literally running around going, what the fuck, to know that this thing here lets me down as well. Thank you. And into this weird little chamber I go. There's another... I guess I have to loot crates now. I found a hammer! Just what I needed, yay! 
Sorry if I don't sound so enthusiastic about it, but... Huh, I said but. Okay, how is that fire on? How is that fire still lit? If it's been centuries since anyone else has been down here. Okay. So, what happens if I take you? Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, I have a feeling that I need to place you here. Eh. Oh. Oh no. Can I kill you? Oh god, he uses magic. And I have no prayer. Um, can this thing please weaken him? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do some major damage. Assault, you usually let me down. Okay, let's try getting our adrenaline up to a full bar. That I can use Rejuvenate. This will help me in the long run, majorly. Come on. I need you to hurt him, but not kill him. Now you can kill him. There we go. Okay, just finish him off now. Oh god, he's still hitting me. There we go, he's dead. So, water rune. I don't care about those marital seeds. Wait, does that mean he's gone for good now? Like, if I take this... Aw, oh, crap. Okay, place Grobe. Okay. Um... Telegrab it. And place it here. Oh god, there's another one. Hopefully this one's not aggressive. He is. Enter trapdoor. Oh, and we're even further downstairs. Is that... It is a heat globe. Oh, and there's a water fiend trapped in here as well. That is... That's flawless. That is just what anyone needs. Um... Yeah, well, putting it here do anything? Okay. So I'm guessing this means I have to run by you. It does. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take this globe. Part of the pedestal attached to it. Okay, I want to try seeing what happens if I put it into one of these. Okay. So, I can go down here now. Um... I definitely can't melt that one. Okay. How am I supposed to do this, then? You guys need to start telling me stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can't I just... Yeah. That's what I can do. I'm too far away. No, I'm... Oh! Oh! Oh, I know. Can I put this one? <sighs> I can't put this one on top. Wait, hammer. Maybe I can break off that little piece. No. Then what the hell is the point of this thing? Okay. Did I go down maybe the wrong path? Let's head back upstairs. Mm, that one's still not available for me. Um. Okay. Place a globe here. Oh. It's too large for the pipe. This one would just roll out. Then, 
Make up your goddamn mind. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Oh? Not quite sure I followed what fully transpired there. Okay, I know that I need to take that. Maybe not. Place the globe in here. And it reappears here. Can this work then? No. Okay. This is making no sense to me. Let's just go back down here. I don't quite understand what I'm supposed to do then. If I place it in here, it just pops out down here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to kill this fucking water fiend. Because this is, this is not helping me. Um, I'm actually going to cut till when I figure this part of the puzzle out. So see you all in a short while. Okay, now I know I'm not the brightest bulb, but I figured it out. Nope, never mind. There we go. Um, push it. Yeah, okay, so I figured, like, maybe I can attach it to the broken one up here. But that was the wrong thing. Maybe that melted something downstairs. Ooh, maybe. I also went to the bank restocked on food. Got a mithril minotaur just in case because those water fiends were driving me nuts. Got my prayer points back up. Yes, carry on from where I was. So now is that... No, I think it might have actually fallen down even further than that. Probably went through that hole. Okay, just keep going. Ignore everything. No? Hmm. Well, let's see if there's anything inside these crates. Found a hammer. I can't loot that one. Yeah, there it is. How do I get to that, though? How do I... Is there anything more in this crate? No? Okay. Oh, there's more crates in here, though. I don't need this hammer, do I? Uh, loot crate. God damn you guys and your hammers. Okay, maybe I have to somehow climb down? From up here? Can I climb down this? Hmm, no I cannot. Did that do something then? It might have done something on the main floor. Sorry, not main floor, um, f second floor, basement floor, whatever you wish to call it. It might have done something down here. Let's just keep going. Okay. So I'm guessing you can't use really any of these pipes. Oh, did it melt this one? It did. It melted this one. Okay. Now I have to grab this one, right? Okay, that did not change anything, which is good. Are there any lootable crates? No? Um, and I have to get over there, which means I have to throw it through a pipe. No, I can't do... Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. Huh? Oh, whack it. What did that do? Oh, it landed... Really? That's conveniently good aim. That's very good aim. I'm surprised I could do that. With a hammer. The hell, Jagex. Okay, any crates I can loot in here, maybe? I can loot this one. For a hammer. Is that all I'm ever going to find from these things? Okay. 
drop that hammer. I don't need a hammer. I'm good by myself. Okay, I know you're all gonna have hammers. Hammer. Oh, let me guess if I drop my hammer, this one's gonna have a hammer. It is logic. The fuck are you? Oh, you are the exact same level as me. Um. Oh god, he's attacking me. And he uses magic of all things. Perfect. My one weakness. Well, actually, my weakness is anything stronger than me. And pain. I'm, I'm quite allergic to pain. Oh, you look freaky as shit. Demon made of ice. I should have guessed. JKX has never been very good with their exam and text. They do have some decently funny ones, but nothing that I can say is outstanding, I guess. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. You're, you don't have a lot of health, which is good for me. But you do seem to be lasting longer than some of the Barrows brothers. Considering you're a much lower level. Okay, and he's dead. Oh, and he dropped the Frostenhorn. Okay. So that should be that should be everything now, right? I got the Frostenhorn. I got my Barrels token with him. I think I should be done by now. I think that's I think I'm good. My dig site pendant has two uses left. At least it's getting a good, fair use on it. Operate the wench. The wench. I, I get a jelly. Oh, oh, this place looks nice. Oh yeah. Oh, so those lava things were actually supposed to be like that. I see. Uh, uh yeah. The frost and horn. So here it is, the frost and horn has proved so troublesome to attain. So many of my contacts have tried and failed to bring it to me. Yet you, Renstays, have proven yourself skilled beyond any mere adventurer. My eternal thanks. Now let me see. Yes, it shall do the task it was designed to do, as I expected. What does it do? How can I explain this in human terms? It's like a magnifying glass for power. It was in an icy area up in the north, and so it magnified that, allowing the fortress to remain frozen. I dare say that you were that were you to return to the fortress you would find it thawing. In any case, I shall need this power of magnif magnification to reach out to my lord. That is the human name for it, or rather, the Fremenic name. Humans have only ever witnessed its power in frozen lands, so they assume the power it holds is that of ice. However, the Marajet know better. Not only do we know what it does, we also know how to harness its power. What do the Marajet call it? I shall do you a service, Wednesdays, and not tell you, for were your ears to hear its true name terrible and pri prim primeval as it is, they would melt from the side of your head. How much power does a mere name hold? I pray you never need to find out. How wonderful. Now almost all we need is gathered. Okay, what do I need to obtain next? I thought there was only two things. Another of my illustrious contacts is making their way here with the final item. Do we just wait for them to arrive? No such luck. I want you to go topside and collect the delivery. Can't risk going out, and the contact isn't one I'd like poking around in here. The contact should be waiting by the winch that leads down here. Sounds simple enough. Oh, this is not going to be as simple as he said. There is no way. I'm going to go up there, and there's going to be like some giant demon or a Marajet army of the undead. Hey, wait. Wait. Well, well, aren't you popping up all over the place? Mask or no mask, I remember you. As well you should, despite my stealth, I cannot conceal my reputation as a master assassin and burglar extraordinaire. You're nothing but a common thief. Ah, still bitter about the Intrano relic? You tricked me into helping you, and then you took the relic in broad daylight. Enough of this. Think fast. The assassin carelessly tosses you the relic, but you're easily agile enough to catch it. I shall have to keep my eye on you. Hey, this is the relic from Entrena. Oh, is it? Is it really? Such typical arrogance. Sure, you've ever only known it to be on Entrena, do you? 
think it's always been there, since the very dawn of days? You think that Sarah Domin was here, in the beginning, and gifted his followers with the relic? Pah! I think it would be best to deliver this to Xander and see what he has to say on the matter. No, I want to keep talking to you. Um... About your weapon. I remember it well. Well, it was fashioned by your own hands. I'd be worried if you didn't remember it. Is it handy having a sword and a bow in one weapon? Which I may try to obtain myself. They say that in the wilderness there's a band of mystics who make, can make a weapon from something called sacred clay. While it has energy, the weapon will transform into a scimitar, a bow, or even a magic staff. It's good to be adapted at any situation. So, he's talking about, uh, stealing creations. Anyways, let me see what this relic has to say. Plunder from- oh, that's it. Okay. I do like what he does- what he has done with the place, though. I give him the relic. What is this? Runs his fingers down, the Saradomin symbol carved into the relic. Those power-grabbing buffoons. See how they have desecrated this relic? Carving the insidious mark of their idiot god onto this venerable stone. They never miss a trick, those Saradominus. The choice in agents leaves something to be desired. It is great seeing the assassin again. Um, your choice in agents leaves something to be desired. It was one of my Zerosian brothers who commissioned him to retrieve our relic from Entrena. Who would you have chosen for the task? Did the assassin not manage to complete his mission? It seems to me he was the perfect choice for the job. You sent me to collect a stolen relic. Yes, you are quite right. So you admit it. Of course, I am happy to admit that the relic was stolen from this very temple long ago. This age-battered stone belongs only to Xeros. The assassin deserves our thanks for liberating it from those light-fingered Ceradominus. My only regret is that we did not recover it before those imbeciles decided to carve Ceradominus' crude mark upon it. When Xeros sees that, well, let's just say it would be a good day to be a great distance away from any Ceradominus lands. You can see why he didn't want him coming down here. I'm sure he's an honorable agent, but why take the risk? The less he knows about the artifacts down here, the less likely he is to be attempted. Um, anyway, what now? Okay. I hope that this is still recording because my thing just made a weird beeping sound. Almost as if the battery was dying. Congregate these relics in this place, and now you shall see the fruits of your labor. What is going to happen? It is simpler to show you than to explain it. Okay. Empty your mind of all your concerns and watch what unfolds before you. Oh, goddamn this thing. The years I have waited, attempt these sacraments, Lord, as keystones to your might. We gather here that thou may gaze upon our significance and take pity upon thy servants. We beseech thee, reach out to this plane, thy plane, and once again, before thy order, thy justice and thy might. Zrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
What does he mean we nearly lost the universe? That doesn't sound good at all. Who the hell is Nave Priel? Ah, oh, brother, this is not... Is it not a fine day to scheme against our enemies? Is it? I have been kept up half the night by those idiot goblins. Must they make so much noise as they squabble? They make terrible neighbors. Zamrak would delight in your anger, brother. Brother, the very earth shakes. What has befallen us? The statue of Zamorak. It is ruined. This is clearly the work of Sarah Dominus. Well, we shall have our revenge, brother. Come, we have plans to make. Who is Nave Priel? I don't know who you are. But I will add you for a second. Um, oh, fortuous day to commune with the Lord once more. My boundless appreciation is yours. I'm glad I could help. And it is the time to give awards befitting such noble and honorable services. Oh wow, that that's actually pretty damn good. Hands me a book. Yada yada yada. Oh. Oh, I think I've heard of these. Is that the thing that I get for praying here? Yes, replace. Yeah, so I get all these cool new prayers. But I can't even use the deflect curses yet, so I'm going to pray back. Okay, let's use up my spins. And, uh, oh wait, wait, first I have to use up these lamps. Divination. Ooh. Constitution. And Constitution. Okay, let's use up the spins. And then I'm going to have to find out who this person is. A uh, slayer. And a regular. And we all know what I'm going to do with these. You're going to go into divination. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play RuneScape. And I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!